Wisconsin has long been a laboratory of democracy. But in recent years, we've been put, we are used as a petri dish for Republican plans to undermine that democracy. Well, not anymore, not today, not as long as I'm governor of the great state of Wisconsin. When I ran for this office, I'd, I pledged to work to protect the right of every eligible person to vote. And that's what I'm going to do here today. Today, I'll be vetoing six bills sent to my desk that would make it more difficult for eligible voters to cast their ballots in Wisconsin. And at the end of the day, these bills add unnecessary and damaging hurdles for Wisconsinites to participate in our democracy, from restricting how an absentee ballot can be returned and by who, to limiting municipalities' ability to organize community events, to help voters return ballots, to make burdensome changes to the use of indefinitely confined voter status. And in a lot of places, uh, cases, these bills will make it even harder for older voters and voters with disabilities to cast their ballot. Folks who have a right to cast their ballot just like anybody else. We were, we were reminded on January 6th again today and each day that legislators work to enact legislation like this in other states, how precious our democracy is and how quickly it can be taken away. We are reminded that democracy isn't something that just happens for us. We choose to make it every day. That's why we will continue working to protect the right of every eligible voter to cast their ballot and to make sure it is easy and accessible for them to do that. And that includes using my veto pen to veto these bills before me today. And as I said before, as long as I'm governor of this great state, anti-democracy efforts like this will never see the light of day. All right, this is Senate Bill 203. Not approved. The Senate Bill 204, not approved. Two oh five, Senate Bill, not approved. Senate Bill 210, not approved. Senate Bill 212, not approved. And the final nail in the coffin. Senate Bill 292, not approved. Here we go, folks.